sausage, cream cheese, stuffed jalapeno peppers are surprisingly easy to make and taste great. Wow your guest with sausage, cream cheese, stuffed jalapenos that they will absolutely love and begging you for the recipe. Or you can also use it as a snack or a light meal. Just add some avocado slices or guacamole and some chopped tomatoes and it tastes great. Welcome to Homemade Cooking in Texas. I'm Carolyn Gibson from Dogwood Gardens. For homemade cooking, it's surprisingly easy, healthier for you and your family, saves money, and tastes great. Come join me today as I share my favorite recipes, and I hope they will become your favorite recipes. And don't forget, like and subscribe to my channel. Sausage, cream cheese, stuffed jalapenos, of course, begin with jalapenos. Now, when I was growing up, our jalapenos were about that big. And now you can buy them this big, which makes them much easier to stuff. Now you, you start with a package of sausage. Uh, now I like the old one sausage, sometimes I'll buy the hot, but you use your favorite brand of sausage. Now I really didn't care for Jimmy Dean's sausage. Seems like it didn't quite work in this recipe, I don't know why. And of course shredded cheese, it can be cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack cheese. A mixture of any kind of Mexican or taco type cheese and a package of cream cheese and you're using equal amounts of cream cheese to sausage depending on how much you are going to make. Whoops, now what I really meant when I said equal amounts of sausage to cream cheese, I meant a one pound package of sausage to a large package of cream cheese. Okay, now anytime you're working with jalapenos, you want to wear some gloves because you get this on your fingers, get it in your hands, get it in your eyes, it's going to be a world of misery. And uh, it'll even make your hands burn. I'm a massage therapist. One time I was cleaning a bunch of jalapenos and failed to wear my gloves and had to go do a massage and my hands were burning like crazy. Now my customer could not feel it, but my hands were in torture. Uh, now, for today's recipe, I'm using a small sheet pan that I have uh, lined with foil for easy cleanup because I'm using my toaster oven. But if I were at home, I would be using a big sheet pan that would fit in my oven. Okay, now, uh, on your jalapenos, you want to cut, cut the top off. Now, if you want to be a little fancy, you can leave it on, but, you know, if you're using it as an appetizer, people pick it up, then when they get down to here, they're going to have to throw this part away. So what, what are they going to do with it? So anyway, I'm going to cut this in half. And I'm going to use a spoon to clean out the, uh, the seeds and the membrane, which is what makes it hot. Now, you'll retain the flavor of the jalapeno without it being just enormously hot. So let me get these uh, finished cleaning these up. You see, you're just scraping all that out with a spoon. Okay, now we're getting ready to make our sausage and cream cheese mixture. Okay, because I'm using one of these small sheet pans, I'm only going to use half of half of the one pound package and it's just as easy as just crumbling it up in your pan turn this to medium just get it crum crumbled up in there and I'm just going to cook this until it's, until it's all done. I want all, all the pink to be gone out of it now I don't want it crispy, I just want all, all the pink gone then I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees Okay, now, now my sausage is cooked where all the pink is gone, and I'm, I'm just kind of mashing it a little bit because I want it to be in fairly small pieces since I'm going to be stuffing with it. Okay, and I might even take a paper towel. If I see a, a lot of grease just kind of around, I may uh, blot it a little bit and get any extra grease out of it. So now I'm ready to add my cream cheese that I have cut up just so it'll melt a little faster. Okay. 
And I'm just going to keep stirring this till all of this ha has melted. Okay, now cook these for about 20 minutes until till the jalapenos themselves were pretty tender. I don't want them so tender they're falling apart, but I don't want them crunchy. And so now it's time to just top them with some little cheese. And you can go as heavy or light as you want with this. Okay, now it's time to pop them back into the oven and let this cheese melt. Okay, now we've got these wonderful cheesy appetizers that your guests are just absolutely going to love. And beware, they're going to be asking you for the recipe, so trying to write it down all the time, just send it to YouTube, to Homemade Cooking in Texas. Uh, sausage, cream cheese, stuffed jalapenos. Thank you so much for joining me today at Homemade Cooking in Texas. Uh, these are my favorite recipes and I hope they will become yours. Now if you enjoy these recipes, please like and subscribe so you can see more of these type of recipes. We have been making a full-time living here on our organic farm since 1991. We need your support to continue our small family farm by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much.